In this video, I'm going to show you how to create listing pictures that actually pop and win the clicks away from your competitors. This video is actually a part two to another video that I did. I'll connect the link for you so that you can have access to that as well. Okay, so let's jump into this. Number one, when you are presenting your products, we react to, humans react to humor. This means that if you can put some sort of humor within your pictures, this is intriguing to us. Humor does a few things. A, it creates trust. When we kid with people, it's usually our friends, it's usually our family, people that we wanna have a relationship with. And so when we can have humor in what we're doing and kind of tease about something, that tends to bring a, a version of trust that we need to be able to win over a click or a buyer. So here's a great example of someone using this feature. You can see this is a mask but they have this kind of humor involved with it that is Halloween driven. They're showing this, the, the model in it is very similar to the model of um, the person in Hocus Pocus. And so this all makes sense, it works. This is a great product that's using that humor for the win. Here's another great example of humor being used. You can actually see this product in the wild, which is really nice. And in fact, we'll kind of bleed into what we're gonna be talking about next. But we can see like there's humor involved in this. They're seeing the moment, they're capturing the benefit of this product. This is another great use of humor, which now can transfer into our next one, which is being shown in the wild. Here's another great example of this, this sock picture that's here. You're gonna see the dog is being present in the picture. This picture was literally taken, like you can imagine, it's called POV, which is the point of view of the person who's looking at the product. This is a great, great way to stand out in a search because you're essentially putting the eyeballs of myself as the camera, experiencing what the product is gonna bring. You can see back to this other picture here, this is very similar. You can put yourself in this party. You know they're having a good time. This is all here, so what we're doing is we're stirring up the emotions of that. They're feeling the emotions of like, oh my gosh, this looks so much fun. That wins in our brain. We see that and go, oh, that looks fun. Oh, that looks funny. Oh, this is cool. That's how we get those, those clicks that are coming in. So these are two great examples for that. Another way that we can stand out in the search is by using feng shui to our advantage. This is what I mean by this. There is a certain vibe that people are like, and so for most people, you can kind of say like, what is your style or what is your vibe or what is it that you kind of think is cool or appreciate or think is beautiful? And that changes based on humans, right? So what I think is beautiful may not be what you think is beautiful. And so there is a certain thing and vibes that I'm drawn to that you aren't. And when I see those vibes working together, that is going to draw me in because I'm gonna feel like the buyer or the seller at this in this is really speaking to me and is creating that connection with me. Let me share an example with you. So look at this ring that's right here. Do you see the feng shui of this? So you may look at this and think that's an ugly ring. I wouldn't wanna wear a dark ring, but someone who does, the whole picture captures the mood and the vibe of this ring. I would go as a step further as probably someone who wants a darker ring probably has tattoos. That's an assumption that I'm making. And so I might want to include my model wearing it with a tattoo to kind of say like, look, this is for you. Do you understand? This is this little darker thing that maybe, you know, and I think you and I are picturing the same person, the type of person who likes kind of the rock music, the type of person who's comfortable having tattoos and wearing darker clothing and whatnot. That may be who this ring is targeting. And if I am trying to target that person, I want to include those in my pictures so that when someone sees it, they say, Ooh, that's my vibe. I connect with this, I like this. And then we can move them into our listing photos and really sell them because they've qualified themselves by seeing something and saying, that is my vibe. And if they can connect, that is my vibe to what we're selling, that makes the selling process so much easier. Another thing that we can do is add fun to our pictures. I think that we as Etsy shops try to be as professional as we can because we think if we're professional, people will trust us and if they trust us, they'll buy from us. And you can be professional and fun at the same time. And I think we lose that, that uh, want when we are trying to be as professional as we can. So that fun element, and I think this picture right here is a great example of this. This is still a very professional picture. It is still very Pinterest, but there's some fun elements to it. I love that not everything's put in order, right? And so it's kind of Sketty Wampus, I love the color pop that we're seeing with this. This is an example of a fun picture. Here's another example of a fun picture. 
you can see before it's kind of like, well, you know, if we just put that up, it's like, okay, great. But when we have it kind of positioned and done like this, you can see there's so much more uh, lightheartedness with it, but it still has that professional vibe that wins our attention. Let me say this again. The reason we are trying to pop is that we need to win attention. People's attention is what we have to try to get. So if we have the concept or the idea of how can I do something that's going to almost give them a little treat, right? So that when they see it, they're like, oh, I really like that. Oh, that's creative. You know, here's, in fact, here's another one. Look at this guy right here. So he could have wrote, written anything he wanted, but he decided to go the route of writing this. And as much as you may say, well, that's not my vibe. I completely understand that, but it worked. And so when I ran this through my own focus groups, this picture stood out to people. And the reason for it is that there's that solving of the, you know, it's like, does that actually say what I think it says? And they're willing to kind of go somewhere that may be a little bit unprofessional that we sort of relate with. Us as humans, we are not perfect and we know that. And so to have someone be not perfect can, can sometimes be a refreshing thing for us. Another thing that I've seen work really good is when people know that they're targeting gift buyers and they target the person buying the gift as opposed to targeting the person receiving the gift. So let me share with the example with you. If, uh, here's a good one. So you see this bracelet is meant for a man, but it's positioned and laid out as the picture is sort of feminine because they know the woman is going to be buying this for the man. And so I'm going to make, I'm going to target the woman so that she sees it as cute or pretty, but then the man will be able to receive it and have, so if I was targeting a man with this, this wouldn't be that I wouldn't be using this. I wouldn't have the colors be as light as they are. I wouldn't have it be kind of, yeah, laid out like this. I would have made it more masculine, sort of like this, right? This is a picture that's targeting a man. Do you see the difference in that? But in this, this is going to work for a man and maybe not pop for a woman. So when we are in the gift buying mode or when we know people are buying for gifts, that's when we need to say, why are they buying this gift? And who are they buying it for? And who are they? And how can we win them over? I'm going to give you a little bonus tip here, okay? For those who sell gifts, it is really important that you push on your people that your gift is completed when they buy. Let me explain what I mean by that. Meaning, we don't want to say, hey, you can have this gift, and then you need to go to Walgreens, you need to buy this, you need to put it in a frame, you need to do these things. You want, if you really press the fact that this is a add to cart and it's done, we gift wrap it, it's big, we can write the note for you, it is done, big done, you'll see your sales increase because when people are buying gifts, you know what they don't want to do? Think about it more. They want to say, oh, they're going to love that, and now I'm done. When I add to cart, I'm done. So if you can present that and in your listing photos of kind of just saying to them, this is an add to cart done scenario, you'll see your sales increase. Okay, you guys, this was it for today. I wanted to do my part two of what I did before. If you didn't see part one, again, here's the link for the part one so that you can go back and watch that. This is all one cohesive now video that will really teach you how to pop in what you're doing. Best of luck to you. We'll see you guys in the next one.